How badly will this hurt sales? So, so this isn't a massive number in the big scheme of things, but it could be a big enough number to maybe nudge it um, in one direction in terms of what analysts are expecting for the quarterly revenue and indeed for the revenue going into this year. Um, you know, long term, it's not a big problem for Apple, but if people are looking at things quarter by quarter, it could be a slight hit. Bob? Yeah, no, I agree. I, what's interesting is I've actually had personal experience because I had both of my kids had phones who had issues. We replaced the batteries in both of them before the $29 deal, unfortunately, and it was like they had new phones. And all of a sudden they were perfectly fine for another year and a half. Mm. So I can speak from real world experience to say it really does make a difference. Mm. And given the reports we've heard about the concerns, now that iPhone 10 is past the early adopters, we're hitting the mainstream and maybe not doing quite as well as we thought. Plus we have iPhone 8 that never really kind of did crazy great. Mm -hmm. Throw this in and to Alex's point, uh, from a quarterly basis, this could be a noticeable number. And then could there be longer term impacts? It's not just this super cycle, but every cycle. I think the thing that's really interesting here is, I mean, I think for a long time, we've been sort of sitting there thinking that what Apple does is it works in new shiny chips so that they can run the latest software, right? And, well, actually, you know, they've kind of tacitly admitted, well, no, you don't actually need these new phones to run the new software because it works perfectly well on the old software. Mm -hmm. And that's actually been a bragging point in their latest, um, you know, it's one of the points they said, oh, we don't build in um, redundancy into our phones. We want everybody to use their phone for as long as possible. Now, the the time it takes for people to upgrade their phones has classically been two years and now people are looking at it being three years well three years that's iPhone 6 so iPhone 6 is right in the sweet spot of the phones that they want people to upgrade from and these are the ones who are now saying well maybe I don't need to right I mean I think that's exactly some of the issue now on the other hand let's give Apple credit right I mean this is an incredibly customer positive move so from a long-term perspective this gives people a much better feeling about Apple who say you know what I appreciate the fact that they were willing to do this and yeah it delays my purchase for a little bit but trust me my next one is definitely going to be an iPhone and I think from that perspective it's definitely a long-term win for Apple.